It was an historic win last season for the ETSU football program as they got their first conference win in front of a school record crowd of nearly 14,000 people at the Bristol Motor Speedway. Well, now the Buccaneers are looking forward to another historic step in their return to football as they will kick off their third season at a brand new on campus stadium 100 days from today. And News Channel 11's Carissa Winstead toured the stadium. She joins us now live from campus with a special guest, the man who got to uh, hold up that trophy. Hi, Carissa. Hey, Sarah, we've actually moved inside where it's a little bit warmer and more dry, which uh, I'm, I'm glad that we have moved in. I'm actually joined by head coach Carl Torbush. We are now 100 days away from kickoff here at our new stadium. Just tell me about the excitement around this. Well, first of all, it's really hard to imagine. We've been putting this program together now for four years. This will be the fifth season that I've been here, which is hard to realize that I've been here for five years. But uh, to see where we started with basically a football and that was it to uh, where we are you now is really an here. amazing Yippee. success story. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Scott Carter's done a tremendous job of helping get this stadium going. Uh, and, it, and it's a reality now. I mean, I'm not sure two or three years ago everybody felt like it was going to really happen, but it is going to happen. And uh, y'all have seen the facility. It's a, a, just an absolutely gorgeous stadium with the, uh, the mountains in the background. Obviously, it uh, says a great grade about uh, the commitment to ETSU football and ETSU in general. But uh, we're excited about it. Obviously, uh, we stayed on schedule. Uh, you know, I think the turf is going to be absolutely gorgeous inside the stadium. But uh, it's something that all of us have been excited about. And it's, it's, it's hard to imagine there's only 100 days left before we will be in that new stadium. Yeah, not only is the stadium coming along, how, how's the football team coming along? I mean, last year y'all had such a great season. Talk about how you're preparing for this season. Well, it's been a slow process, but it was a growing process, which we knew it would be. Uh, we've got basically the same players we had when we started three years ago. Uh, we had four seniors last year, and all four of them graduated, which we're excited about that. Uh, we've got uh, 20 out of 22 starters coming back. We've got basically uh, 42 out of 44 in the two deep coming back. So we've got a lot of players coming back who have been tested, uh, and they are battle-tested, battle, battle tested, scar test, tested, any way tested you want to be. They've been in a lot of tight ball games. So there's no doubt this will help us be a better football team next year. Obviously, their schedule is tougher, and it's going to get tougher. Uh, SOCON's a very, very tough conference. We play James Madison next year, who was the FCS national champion. So uh, we know that we've got a tough, tough schedule, but we're excited about the opportunities that lie ahead. Yeah, lots of excitement coming up, and thank you, Coach. We appreciate it. And, uh, of course, that big game coming up in September, just 100 days from now. Reporting live in Johnson City, Carissa Winstead, News Channel 11, in your corner. So many people excited to not only see the Bucks, but to see the new stadium as well. Thanks, Carissa.